Hello guys, I welcome you all to my channel Engineers Academy. Do subscribe my channel if you haven't done it yet. Now we are going to solve this problem which says that determine the angle between the two cables. So we have cable AB and cable AC and we are required to find the angle between these two. So this is problem 2138. And in the second problem it is said that determine the projected component of the force F equals to 12 pounds acting in the direction of cable AC express the result as a Cartesian vector. So in the second uh, problem we have to find the projection of this FAB along this AC line. So for the first problem that is 238 we have to find determine the angle theta between the two cables. So we can find this angle by taking the dark product of the position vector from A to B. This will be the position vector from A to B and this will be the position vector from A to C. So if we take the dark product, if we take the dark product between the position vector from A to B and the position vector from A to C, this will be equal to the magnitude of the position vector from A to B multiplied by the magnitude of the position vector from A to C cos of theta. So this will give us the angle, right? So for that we have to find the position vector from A to B, the position vector from A to C and the magnitude of A B, uh, position vector from A B and the position vector from A C. So let's find the position vector from A to B. So the position vector from A to B can be determined by traveling from A towards B along the X, Y and Z directions. Now to reach this point B from A, we need to travel 6 feet towards B in the negative X direction. This direction is negative. So 6 feet in the negative X. So we can write that this is minus 6i. So once we travel 6 feet in the negative x, we will travel this particular point, then we need to travel this distance. So this small distance is this 10 minus 8 feet. So 10 minus 8 is 2 feet. So we need to travel 2 feet distance in the positive y direction. So I will write plus 2j. And then from here, we need to travel 4 feet distance in the positive z direction. That is in the positive k direction. So this is plus 4k. So this is the position vector from A to B. Now we can find its magnitude. So the magnitude of the position vector from A to B will be equal to, by applying the Pythagoras theorem, we can take the squares of the components of the position vector from A to B. So 6 square plus 2 square plus 4 square under the square root. This gives us the magnitude. Let's find this magnitude. This is uh, square root 6 square plus 2 square plus 4 square and this gives us 7.483. So this magnitude is 7.483 and this will be in feet. Similarly, the units of this will also be in feet. Similarly, the position vector from A to C so again, to find the position vector from A to C, we need to travel from A towards C along the X, Y and Z direction. So now from A, we need to travel 8 feet distance in the negative Y direction. So I will write uh, minus 8J. And then once I reach here, then I need to travel this small distance in the positive X direction. And this small distance is 8 minus 6. So this is 2 feet distance in the positive x direction or in the positive i direction. So I will write plus 2i. So when we reach here then we need to travel this 10 feet distance in the positive z direction. So that is in the positive case. Okay, so this is plus 10k. So this is the position vector from A to C. Now I find its magnitude so the magnitude of the position vector from A to C will be equal to 2 square plus 8 square plus 10 square. So this will give me uh, 2 square plus 8 square plus 10 square. This gives me 12.961. So this is equal to 12.961 feet. So now we can find this if if i rearrange this so we can say that cos of theta 
is equal to the position vector from A to B dot product with the position vector from A to C divided by their corresponding magnitudes. So now we can write that the position vector from A to B is minus 6i plus 2j plus 4k and then the position vector from A to C is plus 2i minus 8j plus 10k divided by the magnitude. So the magnitude is 7.483 multiplied by 12.4. 961 so this is cos of theta this is equal to now the dot product is we only need to multiply the i component with i j with j and k with k so we can say that this is uh, an i dot i is always equal to 1 so this is minus 6 into 2 so this is minus 12 and i dot i is 1 then this 2 into minus 8 is minus 16 and j dot j is 1 and then we have 4 into 10 so this is plus 40 divided by the product of the magnitude so the product of the magnitude is 7.483 multiplied by 12.961 so this gives me 96.987 so 96.987 and minus 12 plus uh, minus 16 plus 40 gives us plus 12 so this is equal to 12 divided by 96.987 and we can say that theta is equal to cos inverse 12 divided by 96.987 so cos inverse and 12 divided by 96.987 so this gives me theta between the two cables equals to 82.893 degrees approximately so the angle between uh, cable AB and cable AC is 82.893 degrees now this is the solution of the first part of the problem now in the second part we have to find the projection of this FEB along this AC line so that projection can always be determined by taking the dot product of this FEB with the unit vector from A to C since the unit vector from A to C always gives us the direction so now we can say that um, the projection let's say that FEB projection this will be equal to f a b vector and the dot vector the uh, the dot product the unit vector from a to c and remember that this dot product always gives us the magnitude always gives us the scalar quantity so this is the magnitude of the projection of the force a b along that a c so now we can write that uh, f a b uh, first of all we have to find the Cartesian vector representation of FAB since we are given only the magnitude of FAB which is 12 pounds so now we know that the FAB vector this is equal to I am writing here so this is FAB FAB equals to the FAB magnitude times the unit vector from A to B since originally the FAB vector is acting from A to B so FAB magnitude is given that is 12 pounds and the unit vector from A to B is the position vector from A to B divided by its magnitude so we can replace we can replace this by the position vector from A to B divided by its magnitude so now we can write that the position vector from A to B we know that the position vector from A to B is minus 6i plus 2j plus 4k this is the position vector from A to B and we, we, we have to divide it by its magnitude so its magnitude is all also determined so we need to divide it by 7.483 
So once I multiply this 12 inside with each and every component and then divide each component by this magnitude, we will get the Cartesian vector representation of the force acting from A to B. But I am not going to simplify this, I am going to insert it in this equation and then at the end we will simplify it, right. So we can write that if AB vector is 12, uh, multiply by or the dot product with the this is the dot product basically but the dot product with the scalar is nothing but it's just a simple multiplication so we can say that 12 into minus 6i plus 2j plus 4k divided by that magnitude which is 7.483 and then dot product with the unit vector from a to c let me move it so this is the dot product with the unit vector from a to c is the position vector from a to c divided by its magnitude so now we know the position vector from a to c this is the position vector from a to c so so i will write that position vector from a to c is that is 2i minus 8j plus 10k and then its magnitude is already determined this is the magnitude so we can say that we need to divide it by that magnitude which is 12.961 so now if you look into uh, this these two products these the dot product of this with this and divide by the magnitudes so we have already done that in the first part in the problem 2138 right we this is this dot product right and ultimately this gives us 12 divided by this right so we, as we can see that this is the position vector from a to b position vector from a to c and then their magnitude so this is the position vector from a to b dot product with the position vector from a to c and same so what i mean is that i can replace all this with this ratio right so this will be this will be equal to f a b projection along a c will be equal to 12 into 12 divided by 7.483 so if you people are doing this problem only that is 12 139 so you people can repeat this right so we we need to multiply this i component with i j with j and k with k so this will give us again that uh, minus 12 minus 16 and plus 40 so ultimately it will give us 12 and then the product of these magnitudes will give us uh, nine. This is this is 96. Remember, this will give us 96.987. So this is 96.987. And and when we simplify this, so this is 12 into 12 divided by 96.987. So this gives me 1.48. So the magnitude of the projection of that force F along that AC is 1.485 pounds now in the problem statement it is also said that express express this projected component as a cartesian vector so we have to write it as a cartesian vectors in terms of i j and k so again we can write that f f a b projection and this time we are finding the vector that is the cartesian vector so this is f a b projection vector and this will be equal to f a b projection magnitude times the unit vector from a to c since we want to find the Cartesian vector of the projection along AC. So this time we have to take the dot product with the unit vector from A to C. So now we know that the magnitude is 1.485 multiplied by the unit vector from A to C. So the unit vector from A to C is the unit vector from A to C is the position vector from A to C and divided by its magnitude. So now the position vector from A to C is already determined. This is plus 2i minus 8j. So plus 2i minus 8j plus 10k divided by its magnitude which is 
0.961 so now we need to find this ratio that is 1 1.485 divided by this and then we need to multiply that ratio with each and every component magnitude so this is we can say that uh, 1.485 divided by 12.961 multiply by 2 so this gives me uh, this is plus into plus so plus into plus is plus this is 0 0.229 i and then again we need to multiply this same ratio with minus 8 so this is minus 8 this gives me minus this is minus 0 0.917 j and then we have to multiply it with plus 10 that is the k component so that gives us plus 1.145 k so this is the cartesian vector representation of the projection of that fab along that ac line so this is the magnitude which is 1.485 pounds and this is the cartesian vector representation and and its magnitude will be in pounds so this is the solution of these two problems i hope this will help you in your learning let me know in the comment section if it helps in your learning also subscribe engineers academy for such more problems from hibla statics